How's it going guys? So I'm going to make a, an updated slash refined clip here regarding maximizing your score on 2CK summer 2024 onward. Okay. Those of you who've been following my content, you know, general principles I've advocated for slash recommended uh, pertaining to how to maximize your score. But as I just said, I'll give you some updates here. There's two camps of you studying for 2CK. You're going to have the camp where you're post-grad, you finish med school, you can just study EG four or five months, say, what do I need to do? Tell me. Very linear fashion to the approach, very simplified, very easy. And then there's the second camp, those of you who are on rotations, and it's going to be more subject specific, i.e. via your shelf exam type approach. So there's four main things you're going to need to do in both camps, just in a different fashion. I'll quickly start off by just talking about the post-grad approach. So the first thing you're going to do is choose a QBank, UWorld, or AMBOSS. They're non-superior to each other in terms of augmenting your score. There's pros and cons to each. I've made maybe nine YouTube clips talking about AMBOSS versus UWorld. I'm not going to go into the details about that right now. But the point is you can choose a QBank. I don't want you doing it twice. There's times when I might have a student remediate via doing incorrects, but you're gonna do a QBank once and you're gonna do four to eight blocks of 10 per day. So 40, 80 questions per day, blocks of 10, untimed, tutor, random mode, okay? That, in my view, is going to maximize your retention in the macro. That's my view. People have different opinions. Some of you wanna do a subject specific approach, okay? You say, no, Michael, I don't like random. I wanna pack the punch. That's fine. I'm just telling you what is maximal in terms of efficacy in my view. Okay. So first thing you're going to do, QBank, 40, 80 questions per day, blocks of 10. Okay. It minimizes ADHD doing blocks of 10. You can open a separate YouTube tab talking about how to go through QBank when you have ADHD. Literally, you can search that, Melman, and I've made like 10 clips talking about that. Okay. So first thing you do, QBank, it's going to take you maybe six to eight weeks. The second and third things you're going to do, and this is going to be a subject specific approach that can be amalgamated with the tutor random mode in QBank that I just mentioned. So you can do my PDFs and my YouTube MCQs. So for example, you can do OBGYN PDF, maybe 10, 15 pages per day. You can do the OBGYN repro playlist on my YouTube let's say 10 to 15 questions per day, people are gonna have different paces. That's a subject specific approach simultaneous to the random mode that you're doing in QBank. So I always want QBank in random mode, but you're gonna be doing the PDF, YouTube MCQ playlists, okay? Subject specific at the same time. Those are three things you're gonna do. So PEDS, OBS, gain, surgery, internal medicine. People say, Mike, which uh, playlists, which PDFs are 2CK? You gotta use your head. Okay, clearly surgery is a 2CK subject, PE is a 2CK subject. So you can go through those playlists on my YouTube. Fourth thing you're gonna do is the NBME material, and that's going to encompass the CMS forms, the clinical mastery series forms, which are the 50 question NBME subject specific forms. There's around 50, okay, including the offline forms. So you're gonna first complete QBank. After you complete QBank, you're going to do all 50 of those forms two per day. It's going to take you about three and a half weeks to finish those forms. Okay. You can do them random mode also, meaning you don't have to do OBSGYN form one and two on the same day, then three and four the next day. Mix it up. It helps prevent burnout as well. So you can just do OBSGYN one, psych one. The next day, PEDS one, surge one. Mix it up. So you're going to do QBank. You finish QBank. You're going to go to the CMS forms. You're going to do the 50-ish forms. It's going to take you about three, three and a half weeks. You finish those forms. You're going to do offline NBMEs six through eight. Then you're going to do a second pass of all the CMS forms. Holy shit. Okay, you can think of it as NBME QBank. So after you finish the second pass of all the CMS forms, you're going to do free 120. Then you're going to do nine through 14. Every little bit in the series that I've discussed right here could be extrapolated out and expounded upon into a 40 minute discussion. Okay. So QBank, CMS forms, NBME six through eight, second pass to CMS forms, free 120, 9014. That's 
most students generally who are post-grad who can just study and they're not confined to a time limit, okay? They're not constrained. That's how I like to prep many students. There's a time and place for remediation. Let's say a student does uh, the second pass, the CMS forms, they get to 3120 and they do forms 9 and 10 and BMEs and they get shitty scores or scores that they're not happy. They want a 260 and they're getting like 230. Okay, well, rather than having you progress to 9 through 14, I might have you do your UWorld or embossing corrects. Okay, but that's a possibility for some students who want to remediate. But notice I don't front load the incorrects. Notice I'm not having you do UWorld or emboss and then all the incorrects and then the CMS forms. No, no, no. The, the incorrects come in sometimes at the end if students need to further remediate. Those of you who are on your rotations, I mean, it's not rocket science, okay? So you're going to be going by subject. So you're going to be doing UWorld or emboss all the questions in QBank in that corresponding subject. After you finish those questions, you're going to do, and of course, you're going to be doing my PDF and my YouTube MCQ playlist in that rotation subject, okay? So that's three things already, QBank, PDF, YouTube MCQ, Qs, and then you're going to be doing the CMS forms in that subject twice prior to your shelf exam, okay? So let's say you're on pediatrics, there's eight clinical mastery series forms, you're going to do all eight of those forms. Twice. If you have a very busy rotation, maybe you can only get one form in per day, that's 16 days you're going to have to dedicate to those CMS forms. If you can go home, chill, it's not busy, well, maybe you can do two per day, knock out, knock out twice in eight days, all eight forms, okay? So in both situations, post-grad where it's very linear, or whether you're on rotation, subject-specific, the four things you need to do are QBank, the PDF, and that's in, in each subject for 2CK, the YouTube MCQs, and the Clinical Mastery Series forms. And then finally, when those on rotations get to dedicated, it depends on the length of your dedicated. Sometimes I have students go through all the CMS forms a second time. That's, or actually a third time, okay? So they get a bit of a boost. Let's say you have a six weeks for dedicated. I might have you do the CMS forms again, and I'll have those students do six through 14 and free 120, okay? So... Those of you watching this clip, now you have a, a better idea of how to prep for 2CK. And some point of value is that, you know, some of you aren't even aware of the offline form 6 through 8, that those uh, are important to do, okay? So I'll make a clip for step one. I'll put this clip out first. Subscribe to my channel. Be an asshole. Okay, I got to always uh, advocate for that. And that's it.